Hello dear student welcome in pharmaceutical chemistry 2 today we are going to deal with cardiovascular drug from that we have to study vasodilator myself mrs surmila ravindra gaudi i am from in quality assurance technic and lecturer in kk wag institute of pharmacy sandori nasik let's start with learning objectives after watching this video student will able to introduce the vasodilator to understand the nomenclature of vasodilator to classify vasodilators to recognize the vasodilator according to their structure chemical name properties uses storage stability condition dosage form and brand names let's start with introduction to vasodilator vasodilator the drug causing dilation of blood vessels are called vasodilators vasodilator are the group of medicine that dilates or open the blood vessel and allow to blood to flow more easily this is the normal blood vessel and this is dilated blood vessel means after vasodilation it increases the internal diameter and thus increases transport of oxygen nutrition nutrients glucose and decreases blood pressure and removal of cellular waste products vasodilator acts by increasing or dilating the inner layer of the blood vessel therefore it leads to increase in blood flow they are used to treat or prevent high blood pressure hypertension and heart failure now let's start with classification they may be broadly grouped as first peripheral vasodilator these drug have direct dilatory action on peripheral blood vessel they are mainly used to treat vasospastic condition and in renal's disease for example tolazolin now next class is coronary vasodilators they act directly on smooth muscle and produces relaxation without paralyzing the muscles the dilation of coronary vessels result in increased blood supply to the heart muscle they are mainly used to treat angina pectoris and hence they are also called anti anginal drugs for example glyceryl trinitrate ethyl nitrate amyl and nitrite let's start with individual monograph first drug is glyceryl trinitrate which is also called nitroglycerin property it occurs as clear colorless oily volatile liquid it is odorless and has sweet taste it is slightly soluble in water and in glycerol but freely soluble in alcohol it exposes on rapid heating stability and storage condition it is sufficiently volatile and hence rapid loss occurs from the tablet when packed in container having cork plastic or rubber closure especially at elevated temperature it also affected by light hence it is stored in glass container with a tightly fitted metal that means aluminum or tin screw cap now uses it is used for prophylaxis and relief in angina pectoris to treat unstable angina that means chest pain due to myocardial ischemia for release of coronary artery spasm to treat acute cardiac pulmonary edemas to treat myocardial infarction to treat congestive heart failure for relief of esophageal spasm and to treat post operative hypertension Now let's start with dosage form. First, glyceryl trinitrate tablet, concentrated glyceryl trinitrate solution, and glyceryl trinitrate lingual aerosols. Brand names are Trinitrin. Thank you, dear student, for attending the session. Thank you.